Hello, Mike from Music Works Renovations back with tips number three in our Trek decking or composite decking installation to help you go from oh no to pro with just these simple things that a lot of people overlook. We showed you how to lay lines to keep the screws straight. We've shown you how to install the boards with simple paint stirrers and a screwdriver to keep things guided straight. But now it comes to finishing touches. We have the end. You always keep your boards running long so they stick out over the end, which you see these little jagged cuts and you say, oh my gosh, why are they all jagged? Well, that's because we cut them off at the end. Typically what you're grabbing is a chalk line. Most people will grab a chalk line and what you do is you measure your distance under the board and you say, I want one inch overhang. So you measure it, two different areas, and you snap a line. But then what we do is, us men, we like to get out there with our skill saw and we, we go along that line, we try to make it perfect. It never, ever comes out perfect. I'm sorry, it doesn't. What I'd like to introduce to you is something you should probably have in your tool arsenal. You'll see it on our other reviews. This is called the Craig AccuCut. What this does is it is a base for your skill saw. So after we've set up our line, we take this, as you can see it in the vid, we take this tool, and we lay it down right along the chalked line. With that, we take our skill saw and we go along and we cut with our skill saw. By doing this, it is a 100% straight line. We follow the chalk line, but using this, it makes all the difference. There's no wobbles, no in and outs, because honestly with the chalk line, it goes up and down with the heaving of these boards, and our hands are not perfectly straight as we go along. So this to me is one of the tools you should have in your arsenal. So remember, measure out how far you want, mark your top, mark your top, snap your line, use your guide, and then cut. Of course, if you don't have one of these, it is still okay to use your skill saw and run the whole line down, but remember, leave enough board overhang so that you can cut it at a later date. Don't try to cut each board to the correct length because it doesn't happen. It will look horrible. So this is our third tip in our series of installing track decking or composite flooring decking. Hope that your project comes out a success. Any questions, you can email us at info at musicworksstudio.com. That's info at musicworksstudio.com. Or leave your comments in the area below. We hope you've enjoyed it. And for you professionals that are laughing at me because you say, oh, we use these great tools, please don't give it a thumbs down. Do-it-yourselfers may not have the tools that we have. So cut them a break and let's support them. Thank you until the next series. Bye.